discussion uh, I will indicate the link of my part one of the Pinakinan discussion so guys without further ado let's start the video so, so sorry po basta po yung aking buho kakatapos ko lang po ba dito so ganun po So, you heard it right, we are talking about the party of Pinakinan discussion and the first thing that I would like to talk about is the allergy that is related to Pinakinan. Most of you guys are experiencing this after your injection to, to Pinakinan, parang later or uh, parang after, after injection, like one uh, a minute or an hour or the day after injection po, nagkakaroon po kayo ng allergy reaction. So, I will answer that na. So actually this is due to the presence of the large amount of benzyl alcohol which is an irritant. So it can cause redness, itching, soreness and not which can dissipate uh, two to three days. Ganon. So again, nawawala po ito two to three days. Po. For those who are worried about this, uh, just take an isamine for the allergy reaction po. So, since there's a lot of trans women who are experiencing this this kind of uh, signs and symptoms after injection po ng Pinokinon, I sent an email to the Thai FDA and they revealed that, that it contains an irritating substance and that irritating substance is the benzyl alcohol. So, alam niyo na mga kasis. And most of you are will be asking me if I will continue using the, the Pinakinon or if I will stop using Pinakinon kung if, I, uh, if I'm experiencing this kind of allergic reaction. Ideally, if you will uh, experience allergic reaction on a certain hormones, drugs, and everything, dapat stop na. Ganon. So, in my take po, you will continue using the Pinakinon if the allergic reaction is only localized po. Meaning po, the allergic reaction is located only on the injection site po. So, just take antihistamine and don't worry, antihistamine is over-the-counter drugs naman po. So, if the allergic reaction is generalized, meaning it is spread all throughout your body, causing inflammation on your face, inflammation on your body, uh, then and it can cause difficulty of breathing already, then, uh, then stop na po. Okay, this might be a severe allergic reaction that will tantamount to an anaphylactic shock. Uh, you must go to emergency room already. May uh, pwede silang mag-inject po ng, ng hydrocortisone or diphenhydramine, etc. And they will put you on an oxygen po. But I'm emphasize mga kasis that if you are prone to develop allergic reaction, please uh, refrain from eating malalansa or uh, like seafoods like bagoong ganon so that it will not aggravate the allergic reaction the day the day prior to your uh, injection and during your injection then after your injection so ganon and again if you are not prone naman like me I'm a user of pinokinon and I'm not prone to develop allergic reaction then laban lang kahit kumain po ako ng, ng seafood malalansang pagkain hindi po ako nagde-develop ng allergy reaction po. Sinabi ko, refrain lang po. Meaning, iwasan. Hindi ko sinabing ihinto ang pagkain ng malalansa. Okay? Sana po, maintindihan po natin yun. So again, yun po yung take ko sa mga nagkakaroon ng allergy. Ang second naman natin tatalakayin, no? the second thing that I would like to talk about is an issue of corrosive property ng pinakinan kapag nag-drug ka ng Pinokinon on sa plastic niya. An example of this is the the bottle or the ampule na break and, and binuksan mo yung Pinokinon, natunaw yung, the, natunaw po yung yung plastic inside. And most of you are wondering about this and I would like to reveal the answer na po. 
So some of you are worried about when the pinakinon is dropped, the plastic and it, and it got melted. So again, I emailed the FDA Thai, and this is the information they gave po. Okay, ito po yung ano, ito po yung email nila sa akin. This is way back like 2017 po. So basahin ko po, I will read the the answer that I got from them way back May 16, 2017 po. So, ito po. In reference to your letter dated May 16, 2017 regarding the inquiring about pinakinon drug and their hormone replacement therapy, we would like to inform you that according to the hazardous substance at B.E.2535 uh, e. section 4 hazardous substance mean the following substance. Ex explosive Inflammable substance, oxidizing agent, and peroxide, and toxic substance, uh, radioactive substance, corrosive substance, and active ingredients in products used in household or public health. So, again, mga guys, again, pinakinon is containing a corrosive substance, po, and uh, uh, is an active ingredient in product used in household or public health, irritating substance, other substance either chemical or otherwise, which can cause injury to people, animals, plant, property, and environment. Moreover, pinakinon is a drug which has not been included to our control under Hazardous Substance Act, but belongs to the Drug Act under the responsibility of drug control. So, ayon, yun yung sinabi nila. Therefore, we would like to break full if you would kindly deliberate upon this matter and wait for the response from Bureau of Drug Control. Regards, Benya, Tewakon sa Sitorn, Standard and Regulation Group, Bureau of Cosmetic and Hazardous Substance Control. So again, even the uh, the benzoate, estradiol benzoate po, yung tinatawag mostly ng mga, ya, uh, ng mga transgender na yellow po siya, which is yun po, yung estradiol benzoate, Nagkakaroon din po ng melting of, uh, melting of the plastic once the, uh, the injectable fluid is dropped po doon. So, yun po yung sinabi nila. So, both of you will ask a follow-up question if it's safe to use it. So, this is my take about, or this is my opinion regarding this. Uh, fortunately, yes, uh, Pinocchio is registered under FDA time. Diba? Since in-acknowledge naman nila, they acknowledge that it is under the drug control law. So again, this is registered under FDA. And yes, it is not included under hazardous substance law. So, sinabi nga po, the pinakinon is under the drug control. Uh, it is not under Haz hazardous substance act. Okay, they are, um, they belongs to the drug act law. Res the responsibility of drug control. So, uh, yes, it contains hazardous content. But I believe the threshold to be hazardous is still on the minimum level. Po. So, kaya patuloy pa rin yung na nakakagamit ng Pinocchio. Yun po yung answer ko dyan. Number three na po tayo. It is okay to combine Pinocchio plus progesterone like Roluton, Daphne, ano pa, Decobera, and etc. Again, no po. As we all know, the Pinocchio is a combination of estrogen and progesterone already. So, uh, you don't need to you add more of progesterone po kasi mataas na po yung progesterone ng pinakinon. So, instead of adding progesterone, you must add anti-androgen po. So, yung mga makukulit dyan, sa mga kasisi kong makukulit po, again, pinakinon is a combination of estrogen and progesterone. So, you need to add progesterone na po. Okay, instead add anti-androgen. So, let's move on to number four. Is it okay to combine pinokinon plus synthetic HRT like like Diane, Al Aldea, Lady, Margulon, Micro, and etc.? Uh, no. Like what I said, pinokinon is containing estrogen na po and progesterone. And don't mix hormones po. Since magkaiba, uh, since pinokinon and most of the birth control or the synthetic hormones are two different estrogen po. The, the pinokinon is using triadiol benzoate and 
most of the the synthetic hormones or the birth control pill is using the ethanol estrogen. So, wag po natin mo po tayo mag-mix mix po ng kung ano-ano. Kung meron ng estrogen sa sa pinokinon, then tama na po yun. Instead of mag-add po kayo ng birth control or synthetic hormones, just add po anti-androgen po. So, proceed na po tayo, which is number five. Okay, is it okay to to inject two ampules po? Okay. Uh, again, I would like to emphasize that this that do not use two ampules po. Lalo na if you are injecting the two ampules in one side po. Because most of you are also experiencing uh, lump, uh, your the mass after or bukol po after the the injection po because pinakinon is not readily absorbable that can saturate the muscle po, resulting to fibromas with sebaceous cellulitis. Ito po yung picture ni picture po. Okay? This picture is taken from uh, sa isang sisi natin na nag inject po. And she was diagnosed with fibromas with sebaceous cell cellulitis po. Okay? I believe that uh, na-saturate lahat yung muscle sa kanya uh, sa, sa injection site 19 na tunaw po. Uh, kapag na-saturate po kasi yung, ano, yung, yung masa natin, the ability to absorb po is very slow po, very decreased po. So, why is it like that? This is due to the possible oversaturation of muscle resulting to unabsorbed injected hormones. To prevent this kind of thing is that no two, two ampules that is injecting in one side po. Okay? Like, like what I said, use one ampule for every five days or seven days po. And one ampule, syempre, magiging babaihan pa din po kayo. Not. So, inject. Alternately, meaning if you inject on the right hand, the next injection is the left hand po. So, to avoid oversaturation of the muscle here. Pagpahingin nyo naman yung side na, na ini-injectan nyo. Huwag nyong masyadong bugbugin yung sa isang side lang po. So, use the other side, left and right. Then, do, do the, the cold and the hot compress and massage po. This will facilitate blood circulation on the injection site. So, let's proceed na po. After injection, a lot of trans women are experiencing mass or pa, uh, namumuong bukol sa injections. So, what will I do if I will experience this kind of thing? Okay, it mostly it will dissipate 5 to 14 days po. Then again, no to 2 ampules in any injectable hormone. Okay? Inject alternately meaning you need to inject right for the first injection and the second injection will be the left side po. Then do the cold and hot compress then massage po. So the, the cold and the hot compress and massage po, pag may maganon, Okay, but it's not required naman po to do the cold and the hot compress and massage. Let's proceed to number seven, which is the last thing that I would like to to, to emphasize. And is is there any fake pinokinon? So again, I I send an email to the manufacturer, which is the Besco Pharma, and according to them, we haven't heard about that. However, if you have a picture of suspicious product, please send to us regards customer service. So, nag follow up ako. I did a follow up questions and picture of the suspicious product. Then there is no answer po coming from them. This answer is uh, way back 2017 pa din po. So, I believe until now, wala pa din naman po uh, fake na pinaki. Thank you so much mga kasis for always watching my videos and keep on watching my videos for, the, uh, for my future videos po. I will tackle all the things that is related to trans women, all the hormones and etc. and also pampaganda. And if you have any clarification please uh, drop a message on my Facebook, on my Instagram po and I am willing to answer all your questions. This is my FB, this is my Instagram and if you want to, to join my group the Jossarap group. This is a group of all the trans women. I have two uh, 
this one and this one so that you will be updated regarding all the information about the trans women and <laughs>